Welcome to this snippet of the new Sigma 4 interface. Although functionality will remain the same, the Sigma 4 user interface has several improvements. Let's look specifically at the evaluation transaction, also known by its page code EV. For this preview, we're going to focus on the bid tabulation tab. Click on that tab on the top of this transaction. Notice that after bid tabulation, there's the number two indicating how many bids were received. This tab displays information about the vendors who responded to the solicitation. And now in Sigma 4, you can view and organize the data in many different ways. Let's take a look. First, let's look at what is called the standard view grid. This grid includes information about the two bids received for this particular transaction. Similar to other grids across Sigma 4, you can click the drop down arrow next to the line to expand the line to view additional information. In addition, you can use the gear icon in the top right corner of the grid to configure which columns you'd like to view. By toggling field names on and off, you can choose what data you want displayed about the available bids. You are also able to freeze columns within this view. You can do so by deciding to which column you would like to view as you scroll left to right and click on that column name. And then in the top right corner, you'll click freeze columns. Here you can see everything to the left of it is frozen. So when I scroll left to right, I can have this information remain static. To switch views to the advanced grid, Click the Advanced Grid icon in the top right corner of the grid. Here you can see the same data with a different display. Let's walk through some of the features, earning this view its name as Advanced. By clicking the Columns option on the right, you can search, hide, and reorder the viewable columns. Here you can also toggle Pivot Mode on to view as a pivot table. You can also click the Filters option on the right to add filters to specific columns. By clicking on the column itself, you can choose to pin it, to resize it, to group, or to expand and collapse the various columns. Even with these new viewing and organizing features in both the standard and advanced grid, you may need to export the data to Excel. To do so, click the Grid Actions button, then click Export. Another option to retrieve the information in Excel would be to download the transaction. You can do this by clicking the three-dot menu on the top of the page. Then choose Download Transaction from the options. Next, click Generate File to view the solicitation responses in an organized file format including information such as vendor names and total cost of their bids. For more information about the Sigma 4 upgrade, visit Sigma 4 Upgrade on SharePoint.